So dividing a decimal number by a whole number is simple. All you have to do is place the decimal in the quotient or the answer directly above where it is in the dividend and then divide like you normally would. Sometimes, however, when you're dividing with decimals, it is um, important that you add a zero to the end of the dividend so that you can continue to divide and not end up with a remainder. Here's an example like that. First, I'll go ahead and place my decimal directly above where it is in the dividend into the quotient. 5 doesn't go into 1, so I'll look at this like 5 into 12. I know that 5 goes into 12 2 times. 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract to get the difference or the remainder, which is 2. Bring down the next number, which is 4. And now we're dividing again, we're repeating, 24 divided by 5. 5 goes into 24 four times. 4 times 5 is 20, with a remainder of 4. Now, this is what I mean. Typically, at this point, we would just say that there's a remainder of 4. But when we're dividing with decimals, we don't want any additional remainder. So, adding a 0 to the end of the dividend doesn't change the value of the dividend, but it gives us more numbers to bring down. Now, I have a 0 to bring down, and I'm working with the number 40. 40 divided by 5 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. There is nothing left over, so no need to add any more zeros, and this problem is done. The answer is 2 and 48 hundredths.